destiny. I myself was in Croatian war. I could have been killed in Croatian war. But God protected me and gave me grace to be changed as I come here in Sweden from Croatia to speak the word of God, the word of life. It can make you alive. It looks like just like black letters, but behind these black letters there is power of God. He can touch you. He can show you that He is the truth, the way, and the life. There is life in Jesus. That's why we speak about Him. That's why we preach about Him. It's not about just being courageous and trying to pretend before you that I know how to speak English. But it's about Him. He brings life. He brings restoration. He will restore you. He will forgive you. But open up yourself and repent for your sins, my friend. If you do not repent, nothing can happen. Call upon the name of Jesus. Kneel down on your knees and ask Him for forgiveness. Say, Lord God, I have sinned and I need your grace. Touch me. I need for you to come into my life and become my master. As all other masters, they make you a slave. God will make you free. God frees people. He will make your mind free. He will make your heart free. He will make your body free. He will heal you. God is the power of a God who heals. There is power in the name of Jesus. And we speak about that power ourselves as we have experienced that freedom. I pray in the name of Yeshua for the grace of God to come and make its work. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Jesus Christ, the King of the Kings. Hallelujah. To the only one and the only God, the only Prince of the Peace, Alpha and the Omega. The Bible says that the Word was from the beginning with God, and God was the Word, and the Word has come and became a flesh, and the light has come to this darkness, and the darkness could not comprehend it. Jesus Christ is the Lord. That's why we are standing here to testify of His goodness, of His love, and His mercy. Bible says, if you repent of your sin and come to the knowledge of God, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, you shall come alive from your death, from your sin. Bible says, my friends, that the sin has separated us from God. God is good, God is holy, God is righteousness. In God there is no sin, but sin has separated us from God the Father from the heaven. That's why Jesus has come, to bring the love and the grace and the mercy of God. Bible says that so much love to the world that it sent his only begotten son that he would be saved. Bible says there is a one way to the heaven, and that's the true Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. He said, I am the truth and the life. You look to the sea, to the spirit of God, and if you follow in there to the Satan, all the pleasure of the Satan and the curly flesh, Jesus Christ has said that Jesus Christ has said that you will be stay condemned. You will be stay condemned. How long you shall live? 70 years old or 80 years old, 19 years old? No, you shall die. But there is everlasting life. There is eternal life. And this eternal life, there is only one who can lead you to heaven. And the heaven, it's only one way. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, will love you very much. But you have disobeyed and you have come to the sea. Bible says clearly, Homosexuality is a sin. Homosexuality is a sin. Sin between the woman and the woman is a it's as absolutely will be accounted to the God. Bible says that man shall not live with the man. Man shall not have the sex with the man. Man shall not have the sex with the animals. Bible says this is a law of God. This is unchangeable, and that's why we are all sinners. Sin little or a lot. Jesus has come to save us from the sin. If your church told you that the homosexuality is okay, they told you a lie, they don't love you. But you are here to expose the work of the Satan and tell you about the righteousness of God and how God is good and how God is holy and how we can save you from all this damnation and darkness and pollution. Today, Bible says, if you repent of your sin, today if you open your heart and believe in the name of Jesus Christ, then you shall be saved. 
people of the Gothenburg, we love you very much. That's why we are standing here. We know that the truth sets you free. Jesus says, my word is a spirit. And when the, there is a spirit, there is a liberty. Would you like to experience the liberty? It's only Jesus Christ will bring this liberty, light and the hope in these dark hours. Bible says at the end of the day it will be like the day of the Noah and the earth shall be full of the violent and the violent shall fear you. But Jesus Christ says repent your sin and come to the light of Jesus Christ. Maybe you shall be saved from all your sin. Come. Man, you don't go to that kind of a sin. Repent of your sin and come confess your sin to the cross. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Do not be prideful and do not go after such a sin because this is very abomination to the God. Jesus Christ died on the cross, shed his blood, died and he rose from the dead. Already Satan has been defeated. Jesus Christ has, has defeated Satan. Jesus Christ has defeated sin. He is the only one who has never seen it. And when Jesus Christ raised from the dead, those people would believe and lay down their life and they will be dying into their sin. They have the new life. And today the light of Jesus Christ already is shining. Shining brighter than the sun. Brighter than the moon. Brighter than any gold and the silver in this world. There is none like Him. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. That is the Lord, pure and the holy. Come on to Jesus Christ. Bible says if you are burdened with the chapel, with the bondage, with the drug, with the alcohol, with the homosexuality, with the trouble, Bible has a very beautiful Bible verse that can help you. He says, come on to me all you weary and heavy burden. Come on to me all you weary and heavy burden. Those people who have been burdened by the sin. Those people who have gone to the prison of the Satan. Those people who have been in, cha in chain of the satanic uh, sin. Bible says today is the day of the salvation. Come to him and give your, your burden, your sin to him. Maybe God will have the mercy on you and save your soul to the eternal life. Bible says that there is a heaven to go. Do you choose heaven? Do you choose the heaven or you want to go to the hell? Bible says that fear of God is the beginning of the wisdom. Where is the wisdom of the righteousness of Jesus Christ? Bible says if you come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, which is the foolishness for this world, you will be saved because for those people who believe in the cross of Jesus Christ, they shall be saved and they shall have the new life and the power of God shall set you free. And the Bible says that we are standing here because we have a power to come against the scorpion and the snake and the power and the principality of demonic power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I shall set the Sweden and the heart of the Sweden free right now from the Jezebelic spirit and from a homosexuality spirit. Jesus Christ is the Lord. You shall be saved. There is a life in Jesus Christ and there is a light in Jesus Christ. I love you very much. That's why I preach this gospel to you. And you are standing today with the saint of God cross into the hand we deny the things of this world. We deny the things that will flesh of the our pride and the fleshly things of this world. And we know that our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ is the King. Yes, today, Bible says, is the day of the salvation. Repent of your pride and come to Jesus Christ. Because Bible says that the before the before the pride, before the pride it's going to fall. You will fall if you continue to the pride. So cross is a place that the, your sin has been crucified. Cross is the place that the wrath of God come upon him. If you Jesus Christ, if you choose Jesus Christ, then the wrath of God will not remain in you. But if you follow to the things of the world and being deceived by the Satan, the wrath of God will remain on you. And the Bible says there is a consequence for the sins. Jesus Jesus Christ has taken this sin and became a sin offering on the cross. And if you repent of your sin, you shall be saved. Kingdom of God is important. Kingdom of God can live inside of you. The light of Jesus Christ is already shining. Choose whom you serve today. The Satan or Jesus Christ, the King of the light. Jesus loves you very much. 
and today is the day of the salvation. Salvation, it means the freedom, freedom from the bondage, freedom from the slavery, freedom from the satanic deception. And Bible says there is a peace in Jesus Christ. There is a river of the glory and the mercy from the throne of the heaven. And I love you very much and I want to invite you to come to the peace of Jesus Christ, the peace of the heaven, the peace of the only king that created the heaven and the earth, that has been created the older man. And the Bible says if you come to Jesus Christ, he will create you and make you a new person. And the Bible says he gives you a new heart, a heart of the flesh, not of the son. Jesus loves you and I pray for you. God bless you. If you are standing here, if you have a question, come and we pray for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, the creator of heaven and earth. Come ye sinners, lost and lonely, the blood of Jesus can set you free. When Jesus saved the worst among you, when he saved the wretch like me, yes I know, yes I know, Jesus' blood can set you free. Yes, my friend, if you're looking for freedom, there is freedom in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. There is salvation in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is liberty in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope for you in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. But there is a condition for you not to repent from your sin and call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. for you to prove his love for you my friend our Lord Jesus does not 